WNDS Sports presents Candlepin Stars and Strikes, featuring the best Candlepin bowlers from all over New England. And now in our 18th season, here's your host for Candlepin Stars and Strikes, Dick Lutz and Mike Warren. Hi again, everybody. It is great to have you with us for another edition of Candlepin Stars and Strikes on WNDS-TV from Lita Lanes in Nashua, New Hampshire. Dick Lutzk with Mike Morin. Week two of our third ladder series of the season. And last week in our first match, we had a real fingernail biter. We've had some great matches so far this season. Last week, no exception. Jack Daly down to the last ball, the last frame. A two-pin victory over Gary Duffett. How close will it be today? Well, we'll find out. Let's meet our two bowlers in this second match of the series. First, last week's winner, our number four seed from Quincy, Massachusetts, Jack Daly. Yeah, prior to last week, he'd only been on doubles, but now he's on his own and doing quite well with a one-for-one -one victory ratio so far. Jack's average is 126, high single is 183, highest triple is 465, bowls in a number of locations, the fairway in Natick, Timber Lanes in Abington, the traveling pro league on Friday. And Jack defeated Gary Duffett 366 to 364 last week to win that opening match. And he'll be taking on our number three seed newcomer, Mike Salona from East Boston, Massachusetts. That's it, another fresh face here on Candleton Stars and Strikes. Getting a nice round of applause, average of 116. His high single is 180. Mike's high triple is 435. And as many of our bowlers from Massachusetts do, he bowls at Central Park Lanes in East Boston. It's Jack Daly and Mike Salona. Let's get right to it. We're coming back with this afternoon's match when we continue with Candlepin Stars and Strikes from Lita Lanes on WNDS-TV's Candlepin Stars and Strikes. We're back after this. We began with five. We are down to four with last week's win by Jack Daly over Gary Duffett, eliminating Duffett. Now Jack Daly and Mike Salona will clash this afternoon. And up the ladder we go on Candlepin Stars and Strikes on WNDS-TV. It'll be Jack Daly, first to bowl here at Lita Lanes in Nashua. Jack's 366 was two pins better than Gary Duffett's 364. Jack also won $75 in bonus money with four marks in a row. And he starts out with a mark. <laughs> Pleasant young man. Jack. Sunshine State. Is my microphone? Your mic's going in and out. My, my. Put seven in the spare. Some gremlins must have come between matches. You know, it's hard to believe uh, that that could happen here with uh, WNDS equipment. Usually that doesn't happen. And a 10 box. Now, this is the television debut of Michael Salona out of East Boston. Told me a funny story before the match. As we watched the Southpaw for the first time, throw it past the headpin. He's a great hockey fan. Oh, yes, I know what you're going to say. Was a Bruins fan, <laughs> but is now a Philadelphia Flyers fan because Harry Sinden drove him away. <laughs> He's not alone, is he? And he'll not pick up the spare. He threw it right in the pocket, but could not convert. And he doesn't hesitate either. He's, he's really a Flyers fan, and don't get him started. Works for the post office in the general mail facility in South Boston, and we were talking about the anthrax situation and all of the procedures that they have to go through and the protective measures that have been taken. You have to take all of that seriously. It's not a laughing matter. No. It certainly has become an issue and in post offices around the country, they have to deal with that. As of the day basis. that we taped this in early November, things had slowed down in that regard. And hopefully by the time you're watching this in early December, it's gone from the radar screen, but uh, you don't know. Just have to be careful. 10 box for Mike Salona. Doesn't appear to be nervous to me. It always amazes me. A lot of these guys come out for their very first time, and you'd think they'd been doing it all their lives, at least, you know, in front of the cameras and hot lights. Not a bad start for Mike Salona. And not a bad strike for Jack Daly. 
was never a bad strike, that's for sure. Nice Brooklyn hit the five and the uh, eight, the last to go down. We had a couple of people from Worcester here today, Michael. Did oh, I ever tell you that I was from Worcester? No. I'd love to hear about it Never sometime, told you but not that. today. Thank you. <laughs> he tries to break up the split. The one-pin wobbles. Joe Rossetti, a longtime fireman in Worcester, is here today. A longtime fan of the show. He stopped Great. by to say hello. Missed the spare. Puts eight in the strike. And Sona Hargrove and her son, Gordon Hargrove Jr., here today, longtime fans, great fans of Candlepin Bowling. Gordon Jr. is an avid bowler himself and carries an average of around 117, does extremely well. Wow. And he's here scoring. Loves to score the matches as he watches them, and he's here this afternoon watching with his mom. We do have a lot of first-time visitors today. Uh, yeah, we try to roam around and talk to people before we actually begin the shows, and it's always nice to see a, a new face. We love the regulars that come every time, but it's always good to see some new folks come into Lita Lanes. Our next tape date, by the way, is coming up very soon. You can uh, be with us on Tuesday, the 11th of December. We begin at 10. People get here, though, Dick, as early as 7 o'clock to get good seats. You don't have to, obviously, but people stake out their territory. Like the Oklahoma Land Rush of 1889. Sona Hargrove and I were reminiscing. She and I had a lot in common. We both went to Chandler Junior High School. We both went to Classical High School and had a lot of the same teachers at different years, different times. But, but she was able to get out in 12 years. It took you 13. I got the most for my money, though. <laughs> Mike Salona from East Boston. A bowling hotbed. Boy, it is, isn't it, huh? And that'll be a 10 box. Looking for his first mark. Trailing early by 15 pins to Jack Daly. The young man from Quincy. We talked last week about Jack's plans to marry next year. His fiance, Aaron Tewa. Hope I'm saying that correctly. He is currently a college student. Plans to go to medical school. And they plan to move back to Florida from the, whence they came. You've confirmed that? Who would want to leave this beautiful December weather for Florida, Dick? What's wrong with them? Is that where you want to end up when you uh, finally well, hang out the headphones and the microphone? Well, my wife and I were talking about just that the other day when we were out raking leaves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good time to talk about it, huh? Now that the kids are pretty much out of the house, the work, one more to go. Work goes back to you two. You have a daughter at home still, right? You're going to make her rake leaves, are you? We've tried. And tried and tried. You have uh, some wood. She actually does pretty well. She's helped out quite a bit yeah, over she, the last, uh, last couple of weeks. Two, four, seven, and ten for Jack Daly. No go. Missed the object pin, which is the two. And a nine box for Jack. You have an empty nest. Do you do the leaf breaking yourself? I do, but I also have a mulching mower, and that, that really is a big help. Don't have to do that much raking if you keep, you know, I, I, I mow the lawn maybe every you know, day and a half, so. Mike Salona looks for his first mark, and here's a good opportunity for it right here. The three and the six, wood in between. There it is, mark number one for Mike Salona, and you know that that sets him a little bit at ease. He looks very relaxed anyway, you know, he's, he's uh, very, very confident, at least so he appears. Mike's a single guy, has his uh, mom, dad, and sister. I believe they're here today, at least his uh, mother and sister. Rooting him on. Not able to convert. Tough shot. The wood was in a difficult position. So he's got the one, seven, and ten with the piece of wood back about at the five-pin position. And he has to settle for a seven box. 
10 pin lead for Jack Daly over Mike Salona. Jack Daly to lane 34 at Lita Lanes. Candlepin Stars and Strikes on WNDS TV presented by Tri State Megabucks and by the Thompson family of dealerships Nashua Mitsubishi, Nashua Daewoo, McMulkin Chevrolet, and Nashua Hyundai. And we'd love to hear from you wherever you may be watching. Candlepin Stars and Strikes. Nice shot by Jack for a mark. Send us your cards and letters to WNDS TV, Candlepin Stars and Strikes, 50 Television Place, Derry, New Hampshire, 03038. Will he break up the split? That five pin, teetering. And if you'd like to find out more about Candlepin Bowling, tournaments, history of the game, a little bit about our show as well, go to candlepincorner.com. A fabulous website that uh, really covers a lot of aspects of bowling, and it does it with a, a, a nice touch. It's well-written, very humorous, and uh, they do a good job. Candlepincorner.com. You're online, and isn't everybody these days? Mike, I got a note from Doria Lefebvre of Allenstown, who asks me for a copy of a poem that we read on the air during the last ladder series. Doria, I don't have it anymore. I can't find it. So we'll back up a little bit and ask the person who sent me the poem. If you could send it to me again, I forgot who sent it. I could probably watch the tape from last, last month and find out who it was. But I don't have it, I can't find it. If you could send it to me again, I could send it to Doria. Who asked me for a copy of it. So you're gonna keep a- uh, I'll keep this on file. Keep her message there. Yeah. He's got one spare, looking for his first strike. Is Mike Salona of East Boston in the corner of the four, seven, and eight? Well, a lot of wood surrounding this one here. This is uh, a little bit complicated by the double wood. And he takes the spare. Second mark of the string for Mike Salona. Three marks for Jack Daly in the first string. Now we've got a pretty good first string shaping up here. We give $50 to the highest string in the match, in the three-string match. Last week, the $50 was won by Gary Duffett for a 138. And today's runner-up bowler takes home $225. The winner goes on to face Ed Woodside, who's the number two seed in our current ladder. And that one got away from Jack Daly. He just picked off the... Oh, boy. One four pin, and now the three pin. So he's got two pins down with two balls. All you can do is laugh, huh, There are eight still standing, gang. And he'll try to make the best of it. Right on the head pin, and he will do well with an eight, pin, eight count. Not a bad out. He's at 105. And a big grin on his face. One of these guys just lets things roll off his back. That time he was a little bit thin on the Brooklyn side. Yeah, I'd be a little annoyed with that. That was a better, better hit than what you'd see up there. Got the three. The five, the six, and the seven with some wood. Everything but the six. Yeah, the dead wood kind of bollocks things up. It's the one pin he didn't expect to see standing. He's at 114, and that's what it'll be, a 114 first string for Jack Daly. Now Mike Salona working on a spare. We have $725, by the way, carrying over in our triple strike jackpot. Gary Duffett had a shot at it last week with two strikes in a row, but then threw a half whistle. That's a good pocket shot right in the one-two for Mike Salona. Not a lot to show for it. He puts six in the spare. And let's see how that wood finishes up. No good. Well, play the ricochet. I think he goes to the far right. That's what he's doing. Yep. Not able to convert. He's at 95. Need, needs a mark to pull even here in the first string. And that'll be a nine box. Uh, needs a spare and a strike to take the uh, first game anyway by just a pin over Jack Daly, who starts with 114. 
about 12 pins under his current average of 126. Mike Salona, on the other hand, averages 116 at Central Park Lanes. That time he crossed over and he leaves the two, the four, the five, and the eight. And that wood is certainly a factor now. The wood makes this, well, you like to have the wood somewhere in the middle of all the pins. Might not play the right side of that wood. No, he's not. He's going right at it. And he makes Look the spare. Look at that. That was a lovely shot. It was. Watch it again. Without that wood, he did not touch the wood at all and got the bounce off the sidewall. Now the fill. He's at 105 plus the ball. So it's going to be a very close match. Right on the head pin, he will take eight. Put eight in the spare, and we have a one-pin match. A 114 for Jack Daly, a 113 for Mike Salona, heading to string number two as Candlepin Stars and Strikes continues from Lita Lanes in Nashua, New Hampshire, on WNDS-TV. Mike Salona will start us off in string number two, trailing Jack Daly by one pin, 114 to 113. Good strong finish for Salona in his first ever string on television. Now he starts out with the wood in the middle on the uh, diamond on the right. And that's where you want it to be. That makes us a much more makeable spare than without the wood. Hit the head pin and here it goes. Yep. Hello, Same we saw spare opposite side of the exactly. uh, alley. And last time we did it without any kind of wood. Watch it again. Actually, that wood in the middle didn't take the back pin like you thought it would. But it keeps everything contained, which is what you want. Put six in the spare. Got the one, two, four, and nine. And there it is. Two marks in a row. Actually, three in a row going back to the last string. But he'll be looking at bonus money coming up right now as you watch it again. Again, another bounce off the wall. Watch that pin come flying. Of course, today we have some rather young bowlers, but the uh, Senior Professional Cattlepin Bowling Association is very busy all season long. And even though this is, uh, you know, five or six weeks old, you may not have heard who were the winners in the October 20th and 21st event at Canal Lanes in Southampton. But who were they? Mary Mazinski won for the women. Penny Moquin was second. Judy Witcher was number three. Chris Corona was fourth, and Linda Laprade, or Laprade, sorry, don't know how to pronounce that, 556. In the men's division, Harry Tinker was number one. Bill Betzold was second. Alex Pendleton came in at third. Paul Willits, we've had on the show, is fourth, and Paul Mahoney was number five. Gary Duffett, by the way, who we saw last week, out of the money, but finished in 18th place. You knew how to pronounce Tinker okay. Yeah. Strike for Jack Daly after a tough miss in the first frame, which he was not able to convert. He picks up a strike in box number two. Watch it again, crossing over to the Brooklyn side. Good pin action that time for Jack Daly. Now, Mike Salona works on two marks in a row, looking for $50 in bonus money for three consecutive marks. That time he threw it past the head pin on the right side and puts just four in the spare. Very difficult spare with two double woods to deal with. The one five and the three eight. Not gonna make it. So the lefty from East Boston now has to start another series of marks over if he wants to grab any bonus money. We only gave, what, $75 away last week to it. Jack Daly. The rest of it goes back into your bank account. I'm sure it won't be there for long. We'll give some away before too much time passes, I'm sure. And this one is, is this one in the bank, Dick? This looks all, he has to keep it on the lane. There it is. Three marks in four boxes for Mike Salona. Watch it again. Watch the wood surrounding those pins. Now Jack Daly works on a strike. 22-year-old Jack Daly, an electrician for DJ Richard Electric and Situate. Broke up a split, nearly had the 10-pin stang, but now just 
cluster of three in the left hand corner the four seven and eight some wood that really isn't a factor well it is a factor could guide him if he is off the line a little bit just like that that's yeah, the way the wood would be a did. factor didn't think he would go at it that way not sure he did but in any case <laughs> yeah it worked it went that way it's nice when you've got that much of a margin of error that you can if you do inadvertently make that big of a mistake it can still work in your favor working on two marks and uh, some helpful wood out in front of the three and the nine. And another mark for Jack, and that's $50 in bonus money as we go to the break. Both bowlers are working on marks. We go to break. Jack Daly and Mike Salona near the halfway point of their match on Candleton Stars and Strikes from Lita Lanes in Nashua, New Hampshire. You're watching WNBS-TV. Mike Salona will bowl on lane 34 at Lita Lanes in Nashua, New Hampshire. He has three marks and four boxes in the second string, as does Jack Daly. Jack put his three together. Mike is working on a spare. Threw it past the head pin, but got eight pins to fill the spare. He, like Jack Daly, gets lots of action after the initial impact which certainly works in his favor when he's way off, which he was. And that's a well-thrown ball right there for yep. the spare. Right between the one and the two pins. Fourth mark in five boxes for Mike Salona. That's on the head pin, too, and the seven and ten still stand with wood all over the place. Well, he's got three pieces of wood, one guarding the seven, one guarding the ten, and another pin at a 45-degree angle in front of the seven pin. I'm going way to the left if I'm going after this one right now. Let's see what he does. He's going the other way. Not going to make it. Well, once again, proving that you would have been right. Absolutely. Was there a doubt in your mind? See, that he would have had it. <laughs> ten box. That would have taken it, wouldn't it? Yeah, like the pin went right across... The messenger went across, would have taken out the 10. Terrific crew working here this afternoon at Lita Lanes, making it all possible for you to enjoy the match on Candleton Stars and Strikes. Our director this afternoon is Stacy McCutcheon. Our replay operator is Dan Don Cronin. Our audio is being handled by Dan Feely. Computer graphics, Monica Colby. Paul Hunter is the engineer, and our camera crew of Kevin Sheehan and Steve Kenny. And Kevin LaFawn. And Jeff Garcia is behind one of the cameras over there, too. On now Larry Taylor, Taylor is here as well. Isn't he? Larry's here as What's well. What's he doing today? Well, Larry's one of the senior members of the crew, and we're losing Larry. And we're happy for Larry and sorry for us. Larry is moving on. He's been at the station forever. Larry's been at the station for nearly 20 years. 17, 18 years for Larry Taylor at WNDS-TV, and he'll be moving over to New Hampshire Public Television, and we wish him the best. Congratulations. He's not a bad guy. He falls into that no. category of not a bad guy. Yeah, Larry uh, was trying to give me a little uh, relationship advice earlier today. Do I look like the kind of guy that needs that? I have no comments. <laughs> Been married, I know, for many years, and a good family man. Larry's as good as they get in you know, the business. You wish they were yeah. all. Other like than Larry his gambling Taylor. addiction, he's a, he's an okay guy. But we're still stuck with Paul Hunter. He's still there. He'll be there forever. Seven box for Mike Salona. Well, he had four marks out of five frames to start things off. Now, slowing down just a little bit, but the match is still within a mark, so anybody with a little momentum can jump ahead quickly here. Paul was telling us he was on the original crew of the first Candlepin Stars wow. and Strike show on WNDS-TV back in 1984. Larry joined the show in 88. Great shot by Mike Salona. Watch it again. 
played it perfectly. That ball just deflected off the pin oh. and right into the 10 pin. But it was that extra piece of deadwood that, that helped to do so. Normally the ball would not deflect that much. Jack Daly. Makeable shot here of the two, four, and seven with no wood. Not an easy shot, but a makeable shot. But it favors a bowler that goes from right to left as he does. He threw it past the two pin. Mm. So he will be open in the seventh frame with a nine box. Very even match. Just nine pins separating these two fine bowlers. And Jack Daly's up against a mark. Right on the head pin straight through with a spread eagle. Haven't seen that many spread eagles the last couple of weeks. Sometimes you'll go and just get bunches of them. Look at this shot. Very Almost nice. made it. Almost made the spread eagle. We're lucky if we see that happen once every two years on this show. Ten box. All right, Jack Daly has a one pin lead plus minus whatever Michael Salona will get on this ball. So Mike Salona will take the lead. He trails by one. Seven pin lead now for Mike Salona, plus he has a spare opportunity. Got some great wood. And there's the spare. So he puts some pressure on Jack Daly. That's the fifth mark. Check it, the sixth mark of the second string for Mike Salona. He's warming up to the TV lights. Yet he's only got an eight pin lead through completed boxes. Bounce that one down, grab the head pin, broke up the split, and puts another eight in the spare. Now he'll have to make this corner shot without the benefit of any wood as he had last time. Not gonna do it. Can't make the spare. Big miss for Salona right there. And he'll miss it again. He'll have to settle for an eight box and a 136 second string for Mike Salona. Very Jack, respectable 249 through two. Jack Daly now trailing by 33 pins with two boxes to go in the string. Almost another spread eagle, the 10 pin falling. Broke it up a little bit, but essentially the same thing. Once again, he almost wow. pulled it out. So he'll need a mark. That's a 10 box. He's at 112. He can't win this one unless he doubles. Well, he'll need a mark to pull it in the 10 pin range. And in doing so, we're talking nearly a dead heat for two. That time he broke up the split. And on the right side, he has the three, six, and 10. Would not a factor. Not gonna make it. Again, he'll pick out the six pin and leave the three and the 10 standing. So. He'll be open in the, actually in the final six boxes of the string. And that'll be a nine box, a 121 second string for Jack Daly. And Michael Salona will take a 14 pin lead into the third and final string. As we continue from Lita Lanes in Nashua, New Hampshire, it's Candlepin Stars and Strikes on WNDS-TV. Jack Daly will be first to bowl. In the third string. Nice crowd on hand again, as you can see, pretty much people wall to wall and the bleachers provided by Ray Simino and his crew here at uh, WNDS's Lita Lanes, home of Candlepin Stars and Strikes. There's a punch out. Once again for uh, Jack Daly, who's nearly made a couple of splits just like this. So a difficult uh, way to start the third and deciding match. Be a nine box for Jack. It 
It's the one, the four, the seven, and the nine, and some wood right about where the five pin would be. Not an easy spare at all. As he comes into this match trailing by 15 pins. Takes out only the dead wood, still leaving the four standing pins. Just a seven box. Tough way to start for Jack Daly in the third string with 16 through two. Mike Salona with the lead in the match and an opportunity to pad that lead here. <laughs> Missed the head pin, but has a makeable shot here for sure with the two pin and wood in front. Almost stealing a strike from the back door. Starts out with a mark. Mike Salona had six marks in the second string. Watch that first shot. Watch the pins come from behind. Missed the head pin. And quickly they go down and almost got them all. He'll put five in the spare. It's amazing that he had six marks in the second string but could not put three together for bonus money. Look at this shot by Mike Salona. That ball is still alive and the seven pin. How did that stay up? Is still standing. Everything went over there in that Man. corner and he couldn't get the seven pin to go. That'll be a 10 box. And another nine pins, giving him an even greater lead now as Jack Daly starts to uh, feel the collar tighten just a bit. He's open in two frames. 23 pin lead in the match for Mike Salona. Daly needs to start marking. And he's got a tough way to go right here with a split staring him right in the face. You've got the two and the four on the left, the six and ten on the right. The wood in the back is not a factor. He's so Jack's off to a slow start. Yeah, what's a guy got to do, he's thinking. He's been pounding the head pin and punching out here almost every frame since mid-last game. And that will be a nine box. Open through three. Next week, we climb the ladder another notch. And number two seed, Ed Woodside, will take on this afternoon's winner. Is yeah. Jack right through the headpin. You can see the frustration on his face as he raises his arms and looks to the sky. Looking for divine intervention. He'll shoot this one from the right side. Still got a bunch over on the left, including the uh, three pin all by itself on the right hand side. Now Jack will be open through the first four boxes of the third string. Uh -huh. And he'll take a six box right here, and that hurts. So Jack muttering a little to himself as he comes back and you see the scoreboard 31 through four for Jack Daly and Michael Salona with a chance really to put a nail in the coffin on the head pin. He'll break up the split and look at the four and seven on the left. He had that last string and missed it but he's got some wood to help him here. If he's a little off the wood will help him although the wood rolls a little bit away. It's the tough angle right. shot for the left-handed bowler in the left-handed corner. And he'll make it this time. Mike Salona with his second spare of the third string. He's really putting the pressure on Jack Daly. 29-year-old postal worker out of East Boston. Very confident. Now he's got a good challenge out of the 3-7-10. Make that the 2-7-10. Some wood on the deck. The wood is in pretty good shape on the right side to help him out. Still has to nail the object pin, the two pin. That's the key. Just right. Got a shot at it. Oh, it went around oh. the 10 pin in the corner. That wood was there, but it went around the 10 pin. Well, you wouldn't change a thing about how he shot that one, but the wood just didn't deflect properly, and the 10 pin is still there. 10 box for Mike Salona. We go to a break, and Mike Salona has a 35 pin lead with six boxes remaining. We're coming right back as we head down the home stretch as Candlepin Stars and Strike continues from Lita Lanes in Nashua, New Hampshire on WNDS TV.
Jack Daly moves to line, lane 34 at Lita Lanes as we head down the home stretch. Six boxes remaining. Jack, a high triple of 465. He'll not get that today. He needs to put some marks together to stay alive. Threw a good pocket shot right there and still left with a tough shot. The four and the eight with some wood out in front and he's not going to make it. And a piece of wood comes dancing away. The uh, pin will be cleared. I'll take the opportunity to congratulate uh, a young man by the name of Gary Cormier. Just bowled a 202 game at Brian's Bowl Away in Gardner back on October 28th. Only the third 200 plus game ever bowled at that bowling establishment in quite some time. Jack got a 10 box after missing the spare 200, huh? Man. Pete Gallant uh, rolled an all-time record 222 there, but it was during open bowling in 1976, so it really can't be acknowledged as, as an official score. Ken Breton holds the record high for single in league play, a 206, which he did in 1968. So congratulations to Gary Cormier, Brian's bowl away in Gardner, a 202 game back in October. Nice, nicely done. And he's Jack the, Daly continues to struggle. Sorry, Dick, he's the cousin, by the way, of uh, Kevin Cormier, who does CandlepinCorner.com. For all Candlepin fans who are online with your computer, check it out. Another six box for Jack Daly, his second six box of the third string. He has 47 through six. And Mike Salona is about to nail that coffin closed. Missed the head pin. Tough shot here for Salona. The one, the three, the seven, the eight, and the ten. No wood to help out. Nice shot. Gave it a run. Leaves the seven and the eight. Nine box for Salona. It's interesting when we watch these bowlers once in a while, as we've seen happen so many times, really. They'll come off a big string, and then they'll all of a sudden, the nail, the pin seem to be nailed to the lane. They just will not fall over. In Jack Daly's case, it's been the punch outs. That's what's killed him, all the unmakeable spare leaves that he's had to deal with. That time, Mike Salona missed a makeable spare. He's missed a few makeable spares on that side this afternoon. But he's still picking up pins. He's up against the six box and he puts a 10 on the board. A 38 pin lead for Mike Salona with four boxes remaining. Time is running out on Jack Daly. He needs to run the table. High single of the day so far. Mike Salona, he'll get an extra $50 if that holds. And at this point, it looks like it will. Well, Jack Daly had a pretty good pocket shot, and look what he has to show for it. He's got the seven and the eight. A piece of wood in front of the seven pin. I'm not sure if that space is big enough. I think he's, he, I think it goes. I think if he hits the eight oh, pin sure. just right, there's room for it. Oh, sure. He can make it. Not going to do it, though, because he didn't hit the eight pin. So another open frame for Jack Daly. Ten box. Very frustrated and understandably so. Nothing going his way through seven frames. He's going to need a mark to make 90. Yep. That's a good pocket shot. And there's the 10 pin still standing. Jack Give him gives himself a little round of applause as he turns back. I think we'd classify that as mock applause, wouldn't in, we? In good humor. <laughs> Missed the spare. Do you believe that? He threw the ball past the wood and past the seven, the ten pin, and did not pick yep. up the spare. Went into the channel. And he's going to miss like it that. again. Another open frame for Jack Daly. That was the concession shot, I think. Michael Salona is on cruise control now. Just needs to stay focused, stay behind the foul line, and he'll be our winner today. In the pocket. That's the two. The two. Look at the two continue to list. It's taken on water. <laughs> it's on its edge. How is it still standing? My goodness gracious. And it's still wobbling. <laughs> 
Strong breeze will knock that thing over. <laughs> really? Didn't pick up the spare. Now, how do you time the ball so that it leans into the ball when the pin is wobbling just Takes right? Takes a heck of an effort. It does. That'll be a 10 box for Mike Salona as he continues to pin well. He only has two marks in the string, but he's added to his lead. He's, he's only left one pin standing, Dick, this match. He's operating on cruise control right now. Yeah. Fifth frame, he left one pin. That's it. Another split. The 2 4 10. And that wood angled right into the 10 pin. Not going to make the spare there, so he'll be open again. And that'll be an eight box. A 37 pin lead for Michael Salona with two boxes remaining. Well, a, a triple strike is about Jack Daly's only hope here. And not only puts him into the match, it puts $725 in his pocket. There's one. And you know, that could easily have been a double after that last shot leaving the 10 pin. Watch it again. Crossing over to the Brooklyn side. Watch that pin come all the way from the left side of your screen. Rolling across to take on the 10 pin. Looking for number two, missed the head pin. Nice shot for a double mark. Now if he can pitch a strike here, we'll give him some bonus money, another $50. He saved it for the last two boxes. But it was too late. In the pocket, seven in the spare, 103 third string for Jack Daly. Three string total of 338, which is what Michael Salona has already. So he needs to knock one pin down in two boxes, and he'll be the winner. I think he's got a pretty good chance, don't you, Michael? I'd give him a 10 to 1 that he can do that. We'll check with the truck and see how we're doing for time as Michael Salona rolls on lane 34, and he's the winner. So it's the picket fence or the four horsemen, if you prefer, on the right-hand side. And he's not going to make the spare. It's all academic at this point, except for bonus money, of course. Well, they need a triple strike to do that now. And that'll be a nine box. He is at 98. 347 for the triple thus far for Mike Salona with a box to go. Ed Woodside is here next week. Joe Stella at the top of the ladder. He had 683 in his qualifying round to be the number one dog in this current series. 683. Mm. The numbers are staggering. And the other bowlers, the other four below him, were all bunched up within four pins. 644, 644, 643, and 640. Ed Woodside having a higher string, so he got the uh, preferred position. He tied with Mike Salona. Salona marks in the 10th frame. He's at 108 plus a ball. 357 plus whatever he gets on this bare fill and he's well above his average which would normally be about 350 he's got a 116 league average so he'll be well above that today he will put eight in the spare and finish with a 116 and a three string total of 365 to Jack Daly's 338 Michael Salona advances and we come back to meet our bowlers when we return to Lita Lanes in Nashville New Hampshire on WNDS TV's Candlepin Stars and Strikes An impressive television debut for 29-year-old Mike Salona of East Boston as he defeats Jack Daly. Final score, 365 to 338. What a frustrating game it is. I mean, Jack Daly is around the head pin all day, and he's punching out, and he's leaving, you know, spread eagles and other combinations. Almost makes a couple of them, but it's enough to shift the momentum toward the, uh, the new guy who capitalized on it and didn't, didn't fold under the pressure. Well, let's find out right from the man himself as we bring on our runner-up this afternoon, Jack Daly from Quincy, Massachusetts. Jack. 
How you doing? A match like that is enough to make a guy want to get out of this state and move to Florida, isn't it? <laughs> I'm on my way right now. I got my bags packed. This was horrendous. Was Well, you had a great week last week yeah. in winning, and then uh, the nature of the game is from week to week, from box to box, you never know what's going to happen. I'm probably the best at getting spread eagles and this and that, so I'm used to it by now. Let me ask you this. You're leaving this area. You're moving to Florida where they don't know anything about candlepin bowling. They've never seen a candlepin ball. Aren't you going to get withdrawals and miss this sport? No way. I'll, I'll just take up fishing full time. That's about it. <laughs> You've been bowling for a while, you've had success at it, and now you leave it behind you. You think it'll be an easy thing to do? Yeah, I think I'll have no problem doing it, especially after this experience is like today. <laughs> the, uh, it's just, you know, I'll, I'll start 10 pin, and it'll probably get even more frustrating. Uh, Jack, congratulations <laughs> to you. Best wishes to you in the future. You. We have a check for you, uh, $225 plus another $50 in bonus money, and good luck to you in the future. Okay. Jack Daly, our runner-up here this afternoon, and now Mike Salona on lane 33 will pick up a ball and roll it in the bonus ball contest. Go over to lane 33, Mike, please on 33, and we'll have the bonus ball contest, and Mike Salona will roll a ball, and we'll try to match him up with a winner at home. $40 is on the line here, Dick. $40 in the jackpot for someone at home. Let's see if we can find a winner here this afternoon. The lefty Mike Salona. It will be a strike. All right, Michael, let's see if we've got a strike in there. We'll bring Mike Salona over, and Mike Morin will reach into the bin. And let's see if we've got a winner here. And it is Lucian Villandri of Drakett, Massachusetts. Right there in the crowd. You picked eight, you lost. A consolation prize for Lucian wow. Villandri for men and our trophies. In Winchin in Massachusetts. No, it doesn't happen over. And that someone sends in a card and then here to see it. It will bring Mike Saloni. And Mike, congratulations to you. First time on television. How was it? What was the experience like for you? Great experience. It was great. Nervous at first? Oh, yeah, very nervous at first, but I got comfortable. And didn't, it helped getting that backdoor nine drop, that's for sure. It's early in the match. First three boxes, I think, you went without a mark. Then you finally got one. Once you got that first mark, a little pressure off? Yeah, definitely a little pressure off. I just needed that first mark. And I'd say the first strike for this, so. <laughs> and it worked out pretty well for you. We'll look forward to seeing you next week. Mike Salona, our winner here this afternoon. We have uh, $50 in bonus money for having the highest string as well for Mike Salona. Up the ladder we go next week. Yeah, as a matter of fact, Ed Woodside and Joe Stella are left to bowl, so it could very well be an all-East Boston final two weeks from today. Of course, we've got the big match next week with uh, Mike Salona and Ed Woodside. And we'll move up to $750 in our triple strike jackpot next week as well, and we hope to see you here at Lidl Lanes. For Mike Morin and our entire WNDS-TV crew, I'm Dick Lutz. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time on Candlepin Stars and Strikes. And remember, let's go bowling.